So Paul, for a mix up and get you in the hot seat this week, uh, previewing Grimsby. Um, I think the only place to start really is with Saturday's result against Barrow. Mm -hmm. um, what pleased you about that win, and also how was it for you to be back at Harrow and back at home? Yeah, first and foremost, it was it was brilliant to be to be back home. Um, a lot of hard work gone into it with everybody involved, and um, obviously had a deadline to work to and managed to get it over the line. I think there was a lot of people working really, really hard on on, on, on even up until Friday. Uh, to, to get it done, but to get back there was was great. To get on on grass there was different, but equally so they've done a fantastic job with that, and the lads were complimentary and, and, and really enjoyed being back and, and playing on it. Uh, game itself, listen, to win to win games at this level is is always a, a re really good achievement, and we're really delighted with the three points. Um, I don't think it's the best we've played by any stretch this season. Um, we, we we weren't at our best in in attacking areas, possibly. I think we could have. Created more opportunities, um, but again, everybody put another great shift in, and I felt we controlled the game for large part. Uh, you were actually in the last team to play on grass at Harrogate Town. Well, there yeah, you go. So uh, how times change, eh? Exactly. <laughs> Thankfully, I'm not the team now. Otherwise, we will be in trouble. Um, so it's going to be our second trip for the Grims uh, to Grimsby this season. Obviously, we played in the EFL Trophy earlier on. Um, are you expecting a much a much changed side from them? Well, I think that's the way he's going about it, Ian Holloway, at the minute. He has a, he has a philosophy in the way he wants to play. He likes to, likes to play good attacking football. Um, they've got a big squad. Got a lot of lone players in, a lot of young lads. So what they will have is an abundance of energy and, and we have to be ready for that. Um, we recognised that in the game we played earlier on the season, which was a good game of football. But yeah, they've certainly got, got quality, no matter how young they are. They, they have got quality there. It's going to be a really tough game. Can you look uh, much into that previous game, considering how probably different the side was to what it's going to be tomorrow? Um, I don't think so. I think it's good that we've been there, the surroundings, we know the ground. Um, but I don't think you look too much into that result because this will be a completely different game with two probably completely different teams or a lot of changes certainly involved. So, yeah, no, I don't think not too much into it, but like I said, it's going to be a tough game. And the start we've had this season, is it what you've expected? Um. <clears throat> Yeah, I mean, you don't want to sound sort of big-headed about it and say we expected to be seventh in the league, but we expected us to attack the season, and I feel we've done that. I think the win at Bradford made it an excellent start instead of just a good one, um, and then backing that up with another three points against a, a tough bar of side is, is like I say, is, is continued that really good start. So we just want to. We just want to keep doing what we're doing. We, we know the way we want to play, and if we see that more often than not, then I think I think we're going to make life difficult and get results. And obviously the transfer deadline day has been and gone. Are you happy with the squad we've got for this season? Yeah, definitely. I think everybody in in any football club looks looks to improve their squad. I think that will never change. But there was nobody out there that stood out for us that was going to be better than what we've already got in. So I think you can sometimes maybe jump at, jump at something on deadline day, which maybe might not quite be right. I'll go in a little bit blind. But um, we just didn't feel that there was anybody... The, like I said, they could come in and be better than what we've got, and, and every lad in there has been absolutely magnificent for us. So it's going to have to take something what we think is, is special or better to, to disrupt what's in there. Well, best of luck for tomorrow. Cheers.